Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. This is Jeremiah's J Man Manero with J Man Speaks, and welcome to A Team Friday. That's right, baby. <laughs> Yo, I love A Team Friday. Every week I struggle. No, not really struggle because I want to bring kick ass content, and today we're talking about kick ass open houses. You know what I'm saying? Uh, whether it's virtual or whether it's in person, there's no reason why you can't have the most productive open house known to mankind. And I'm going to give you some tips and tricks today. Uh, but for those of you who are watching live, you have the benefit to ask questions. You can say, yo, here's my question about an open house. Or here's what I did and it didn't go well. Or here's what I did and it went really great. You can share that with anybody else who's watching it live or anybody else who might be watching it on the playback. Uh, any one of these gets anywhere from 500 to a few thousand views. So it's a great opportunity for you as a realtor to be seen, get some exposure, network with people from all over the country. But let's get started. Uh, you know, salutations. I love Lisa Betts. She's my agent. Uh, good morning, Lisa. Greetings and salutations to you, Lincoln, Nebraska. We got Billy Billy Parrott from Billings, Montana. We got Michael Edward Cassian from Messina, New York. We got Shay Key from Sunny Maryland or Happy Maryland. It looks like it's sunny. Sunny Maryland. We got Dr. Jeffrey Scott Stanton from the NYC. And yours truly coming to you from the world headquarters in Rochester, New York. Okay. So getting started, let's just divide it in two. We got in-person and we have virtual open houses. Now, I understand that as you're watching this from your part of the United States or your part of the world for that matter, we all have different rules about what can and can't be done with open houses. I can't cover all the rules. I'm just going to give you a bunch of options and see what fits for you. So to get started with uh, the virtual open houses, there's a couple of different strategies for that. I, I always, always, always will recommend and and I'll, I'll put this in the comments. I create. Um, I did a previous live stream where I showed you how to create an event on Open House, or I'm sorry, how to create an event on Facebook. Uh, that's the first first step I would say is you're going to go to your real estate page. Okay, step one, and create an event for that open house, whether it's a virtual open house or whether it's an in person open house. Okay. I then am going to put the instructions for that event for that open house. If you're going to do a virtual, my recommendation is one of two things. You can do a live stream virtual open house, meaning I'm going to stream live right into the event. Okay. And again, I'll post a link to the how to, because I like to keep this to 30 minutes. And if I went in and showed you everything on how to do it, uh, we, we would be here for 90 minutes instead of 30. Okay, so you're gonna live. You could live stream right into the event. What I mean by that is, at the event time, let's say you're gonna do this. And virtual open houses typically should be much shorter. You're not gonna sit at a virtual open house for two or three hours like you might at a uh, at an in-person open house. So I would say, okay, at if it's the virtual opens at one o'clock, I would say at one o five sharp, we will be doing and I maybe do a countdown, kind of like what I did and what I always do for this. Um, the countdown is meant so that Facebook can contact more people that we that we and you are going live. You can then go into the settings after the fact for the video and trim the beginning off. You'll see these uh, 18 Fridays. I go in and I'll trim off these first five minutes, and then I'll download the video and then I'll upload that to to YouTube as well. But you do your countdown. You say, okay, 105. We are going to be going doing the live walkthrough. You do the live walkthrough for whoever's watching at that time. You walk through, and then as you're know, as you doing the video, explain things that can't be seen with their eye. You don't have to go, here's the kitchen, everybody, right? You say, oh, these, these look like uh, granite countertops. These are actually quartz. You can see by the uniformity through the countertops. And you see these, these cabinets, they're actually an upgrade. They're not your standard 30-inch cabinets or 36. These are 42, which means they're tall enough that you will never see that top level, <laughs> that top level, uh, that top shelf in the cabinet, and go through and, and and do that and talk about the updates in that. So I would do that in the beginning, and then uh, I would sit there for another thirty minutes or so. All depends. My attention span is super short. It might be more like fifteen, but you can sit there and then as somebody logs on and go, "Oh, hey Billy, want to get a quick walkthrough of the house? Come with me." 
and then we do a walk through the house. Okay, that's option one. Live stream it, Facebook. Uh, option two, which I think might be easier for a lot of you who are familiar with Zoom, is you're going to schedule the open same thing. You do the event, but then you schedule um, a Zoom. Schedule a Zoom for the time of your open house. So let's say again, same example, if it's at one o'clock, what I would do is the Zoom, uh, people have to register ahead of time. So you make sure that when you set up your Zoom meeting, because I wanna see your face, when you set up the Zoom meeting, you put registration is required, okay? Once you do that, you can actually create a template within Zoom, you can call that my open house template. Okay, registration is required. Uh, when you have a meeting that requires registration in Zoom, you could actually brand it further. It's in the settings. Um, and actually, if you want my Zoom settings, send me a message, Zoom tips to my Facebook page. You're watching this on the Facebook page right now. So you hit message, Zoom tips. You're going to get 16 pages of my preferred Zoom settings. Okay, but you're going to go in there. You, you have it register uh, registration required. You could then put your logo. You could also put what I would call a sizzle shot of the property, like whatever your best uh, photo is in there so that when people register, uh, I want to do that because I want to know whether it's a realtor or, or I want to know uh, whether it's a buyer or an unrepresented buyer, whatever the case may be, right? You have people to follow up with after the fact, and you can put whether you want their name, their phone number. Uh, I usually do name, phone number, email, I believe, uh, so that I can capture that. Anything more, it's too much. You're, you're, you're quizzing them. You're uh, giving them a test and nobody wants to, wants to do that just to register. All right, so when they register, you, you're obviously going to get there early. I see a lot of you do live in some rural areas that maybe the Wi-Fi is not that great or the Internet's not that great. That can be a huge issue. You don't want to schedule an open house and be ready to go live or ready to go online, and then you can't get on and you got people waiting for you. Nothing worse than that. It's like, you know, people dream of like going to school in their underwear. I dream of the Internet not working when I've scheduled a live stream. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it. My internet's not working. It is like the worst thing possible. So get the Wi-Fi code from your clients. You know, you're going to be doing an open house there. So get on the Wi-Fi. Get there early. Uh, I, I use two devices when I'm doing it via Zoom. It works so much better. Okay. You're going to do uh, set up your laptop, open up the Zoom, start the meeting. I shouldn't have to go over that. Uh, you want to make sure that the waiting room is enabled so that you can let people in individually. And as I let them in, it would be like I'm opening the front door to the open house, right? Like, oh, welcome to my open house. Yes, okay, me working with a, okay, great. Mm -hmm. You let them in at the, at the, at the time that's, uh, that you had for the open house. People will get there early, just like they will get there early for your in-person open houses. Now, here's, here is the greatness of two separate devices. And Zoom will also record all of the open house. So that makes it easy. Uh, Sharon, good morning. Hey, got in a little late. Nice to see you. Um, so as you go through, you're going to have your laptop there. You have your phone. Your phone is the device that's going to be doing the walking around. So I would mute my laptop and put the microphone on my phone. I would actually use my AirPods. So it sounds a little bit better. Uh, noise filtering. If you have more expensive uh, wireless microphone, then use that. Okay, whatever, whatever you got, whatever you got. But make sure if one of them is muted. If not, you're going to have the awful echo effect. And that's not great for anybody. Nobody likes that at all. Okay, and then the same thing. You're going to walk around in the beginning, answer any questions, thank them for coming to the open house. Okay? I would still, Zoom is a little bit easier than live streaming on, onto social media. With Zoom, you could just hang out there 30 minutes, no problem. I might play a little music in the background, right? And I'd be like, okay. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, hello. Welcome. Oh, yeah, sure. And then walk them through as they come in, just like you would in a regular open house. You got it? Fantastic. All right. Part two is the in-person open house. And I'm going to give you the tools here at the end because uh, this is all about the open house bot that we've created um, and how you can implement this into both strategies. But part two. And this is what kills me with with the pandemic still here, folks. Okay, it's not it hasn't gone anywhere. We have variants. Uh, we had a scare in our household. Our two kids uh, had a fever. We're kind of coughing. I'm like, oh no, I'm ready. I got all my shots. Okay, so I'm I'm vaccinated. But it turns out 
they were COVID negative, but it's still around. Okay. So there's, there's certain rules and find out what your, your local board is saying and your state board, uh, as far as public open houses are concerned, right? There should be socially distant. If you were a really responsible agent, what I would do, uh, and we did this, we had a, ta a taco. I got this idea from a taco truck that we had for our neighborhood. Uh, they took chalk. Okay. What does that cost you? 10 cents or grab it from your kid's bucket of chalk. They took chalk and they just put lines on the sidewalk in front of the house every six feet. That's it. Okay. You got 30 people lined up down the street. Now it's, it's very challenging to do this by yourself. What I would say, if you have a title person, loan originator, team member, somebody else in the office, it takes two, baby. It takes two to make a thing go right. Um, I would say definitely have somebody there with you. If you could have three people there, fantastic, right? Get your insurance person involved. <laughs> if you got kids, bring them along. Um, but it's important to be make sure that people are socially distant. They're following the rules. But you have to have a standard, right? It's important that you have something posted. Um, you can have signage made. Our local sign guy will make custom signs out of you know the chloroplast material, which we all use for real estate signs. Um, 15, 20 bucks, right? It just says, please understand, uh, or just have it say open house protocol, whatever that is for your area. It is required that you wear a mask or, or not, or wear a mask, use hand sanitizer, uh, wear your shoes or use booties, et cetera. And then do a COVID or, or uh, health scan questionnaire, whatever your standard is, make sure it's posted. Make sure you ask each and every person to do it right? Equal and ethical service for all. You can't go, this guy looks looks like he might have the COVID. You, sir, you got to take the COVID questionnaire. And then the next person, you don't ask him to take the COVID questionnaire. Can't do it. Okay. Everybody has to be the same. Here's a, a quick example though. Let me just show you. I created this as an example for you. All right. So I just went into Word. Uh, this QR code will take you, this is your first experience with the open house bot. This is part of our bot called Sir bot a lot. <laughs> Sorry, I like music. Let me just hit this again. I went in the back. Yeah. So this is part of our Sir bot -a -lot system, uh, but we've pieced it out so that if you only want the open house bot, that's fine. Uh, for a limited time, we're going to offer that at a discounted price. Uh, you can go to jmanbot.com slash Sir bot -a -lot. I'll put it in the comments. No, slash uh, open house. But here's the example, right? Do I have a spelling error? No, that looks right. Uh, thank you for attending our open house at 123 Anywhere Street. Please scan the QR code um, to complete your COVID questionnaire and receive a digital property brochure. You have to complete a, a COVID questionnaire before coming in, and you're going to want a digital property brochure, right? Makes it quick, makes it easy, and they're standing outside anyways. So you could print this, or you could put this on a big sign, make it uh, two feet. Let me see. Three feet by three feet. Is that big? That's pretty damn big. Yeah, maybe two feet by two feet. Have a couple of them made with the little little pole things that stick in the ground easy. Um, and then put them on the grass in front of the house. You have multiple is what I would do. So then people go, and you could try it right now. Take your smartphone out and scan that. That's going to bring you into our open house spot. Okay? Um, people are used to, and I don't know if that will take you right to the COVID questionnaire, but we're bringing you into the questionnaire side of of the open house. Once they complete that, the questionnaire side of it, it's going to actually sync back to a Google sheet. So you'll have a list. If you have an iPad or if you have your phone with you and you have the, the Google sheet open, you can go, okay, we have a uh, Monero party of two. You've completed your COVID questionnaire. You're the next one to come through the open house. Think about Think about how cool you are the cool kid on the block right there. They went to five open houses that day. People were, people were using this thing. You guys remember this? It's called paper. You remember paper? They were using paper to sign people in. They were handing out a freaking, um, I went to one. It was a clipboard and a pen, okay, that I just saw that person, that person, that person, that person, that person. They all touched it, and the guy in front of me was coughing. Okay, I'm like, nah, I'm good. Here's 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 my information. Okay, I don't want to touch anything. So it's touchless. It's it's it's. Plus, you just look cool. All right. 
The other option, and I, I haven't set that up yet, uh, open.jmanseminars.com, but you would go to, there's a URL that would bring you to the same place. So that could be open. If you do a uh, single property websites, it could be openhouse.123 anywhere street or openhouse.xyzrealty.com, right? That'll bring you in. Um, the best part about subdomains, which you see there is open.jmanseminars, you can have unlimited, right? It could be OH. Dot JMAN seminars. And that forwards to a URL that's very hard and long to remember. That's the whole point of it. Easy to remember, easy for them to remember, easy for them to type in. Okay? But let me bring you back over here. I'm going to show you something else. Um, if you have any questions, Sharon, Lisa, Billy, Dr. Stan, Michael, Shay, let me know. All right. I'm going to swing back over here to this. I'm going to give you guys some of this action right here. All right. So here is, um, and I'm going to put this in the chat. It is www. I'm going to copy it. Make it easy. jmanbout.com. Copy. I'm going to put it in the comments for you. Because what we've done, because people are like, well, what does it include? And if you don't, if you've never experienced this before, it's kind of an abstract thought. Because you're like, I don't get it. What do you mean? There's a bot that talks to people. Here's how it works. Okay, there's there's the URL. Um, they come in. Here's five real estate reasons why you must have an open house bot ASAP. First one is the open house questionnaire. Just like you would ask them at the home. Uh, what did you think of the house? Was the, you know, what did you like about the house? What didn't you like about the house? Would you like to know if an offer comes in? All those questions, we've already built that into the bot. Okay. Feedback on the home. Uh, we found just like in real estate, right? When you send that feedback to agents, you're going to get more candid feedback uh, if they're sending it to them after the fact. So after they do the COVID questionnaire uh, in the actual bot, not in the demo that you're going to experience in the actual bot, we'll delay it by like 15 to 30 minutes. We can change that for you, whatever you think is best. We delay it so that then they're leaving or they're about to leave and it says, hey, what did you think of the house? And it asks them the questions. Now, before we ask them that question, we also qualify them to be sure that they're not working with somebody else, right? We'd say, are you working with an agent is the very first question. Are you working with an exclusive buyer's agent is actually the first question. If they say, no, we are not, then it continues. If they say, yes, we are, we're not going to talk to them anymore. <laughs> what I mean by that, we're going to say, fantastic. Please put your, uh, your agent's name in the space below. Uh, we wish you well in your, your finding the home of your dreams. Something like that. I think that's what we said. Or it says, uh, put your agent's name in there. We'll follow up with them directly. Right? Always take the high road. Always, always, always treat people with respect, especially if they say that they're representing right agent. We're not going to continue. But if they say no, we're going to ask them all those questions. Now, at the end of that, questionnaire, if you will, will also say, Hey, have you been pre-qualified or pre-approved or will you be paying cash? It's, you know, old sales technique choice between something and something else. They go, Oh, uh, no, I'm not paying cash. Uh, I, I need to get pre-qualified. Okay. Do you have a bank that you're working with or would you like a referral from us? Oh, I'd like a referral. That'd be nice. Okay, great. Here's some people we've worked with in the past and I'm just kind of telling you the flow. Here's some people we've worked with in the past. Would you like to call them or would you like them to call you? Well, actually, you know what? I'd like for them to call me. Fantastic. They'll be calling you. They'll be calling you soon, I think is what we said, or they'll be calling you as soon as possible. Boom. Done. Okay. That then if they, they click that, it's going to alert me as an admin. And if I wanted to, if I had my, my loan originator, my mortgage person, you know, in the bot with me, if you will, or maybe they co-sponsor it, or you guys are working on the bot together. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have my mortgage person on there. It also alerts them. Yo, you got somebody in the bot that needs to get pre-qualified. Please call them ASAP. Now, this is a warm lead. This isn't a person that you found their phone number and saying, hi, would you like to get pre-qualified? No, they're going, hey, this is, this is Jeremiah. I'm calling. Uh, said you wanted to get pre-qualified or pre-approved. You visited the open house at 123 Anywhere Street with Jeremiah's J-Man Monero and the Monero team. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Permission-based. Okay? Permission-based communication is always going to work. Is it okay if? 
and then I ask a question, they say yes, that makes it much more receptive when you when you reach out to call the person. Okay? That's one part. Um, this is the funniest thing though. If if you go to this this site, uh, I break it down, and I'm not gonna play this for you, but because I don't like to Hello, hear this. Me. Is Jeremiah it's J Man Monero with J Man Speaks and Sir Bottle, and welcome to our open house bot. This is fantastic and chock full of features for right? you to enjoy. But this is funny house. because I can play all of these at the same time. Hello, this is Jeremiah Jamie Manero with Jamie Manero. Good morning, Sir Bottle Lot Central. That's right. We're talking about the Open House Bottle Lot. Listen, my friend. Digital business cards. All right, all right, all right. I got to stop. If they say yes, it's going to go one way and say uh, we then also have Isn't that scary? Questionnaire where oh, man. Them. Sorry. I get easily distracted, but it was uh, my son did that last night and we were cracking up. It just kept on playing. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's all these clones. Uh, <laughs> but the questionnaire, we have that uh, referral. Oh, and then it'll also the last thing it ask him, do you have a house to sell? Right. Because a lot of times buyers coming into the open houses are sellers who are trying us out seeing how we are, seeing how we interact, seeing what the market's like, seeing what the competition is like. Do you have a house to sell? Yes, I do actually. And then it goes to our, our fourth flow, which I'll, I'll show you in a second, um, which says, uh, you do, okay, have you ever had a home equity estimate done? No, what's that? Oh, fantastic, answer a few questions. We'll give you an, an anonymous depiction of value within 24 hours. You don't ever have to talk to us. Right. Think about why certain technology companies that rhyme with pillow became so popular. It was because they gave an anonymous value to people and didn't care. Right. We were too busy trying to be the gatekeepers going, we will not tell you what your home is worth until you give us your information. And they were like, oh, OK, there's other companies over here that will do it without asking for my info. Thank you. And that's how we lost so much, so much market share to those tech companies. So it'll ask them, do you have a home to sell? Boom, goes into the home equity estimate. All of this, man, with today's modern consumer, permission-based, on-demand, you're giving all this surface, surf, surf, service, my accent comes out every once in a while, uh, on-demand, right? They don't have to talk to you. If they want to at any time, though, they can say, talk to a human, you get notified, and I call them up and say, oh, hey, Lisa, you need some? This is Jay, man. And then Lisa goes, oh, man, I really like that house. All right, I can help. See the difference? Like I'm not this crazy, oh, I want to close the deal salesperson. Too often people associate us with. Uh, you also have in here, uh, welcome to the open property brochure. We talked about that. Um, a digital business card. <laughs> I just had to play this for you. This is funny. Just the beginning. to that right now uh we'll include a digital i messed One. it up <laughs> let's put a stop to that right now all right you watch it anyways it says are you still using a digital business card in 2021 <laughs> we're gonna put or a paper business card we're gonna put a stop to that right now uh it, it's just another way and what it what it would do is it's part of it but each one of these flows individually we can link or do a qr code too okay just think of it as a point in a conversation we can link to it or put a QR code. So if I just want to send the digital business card to somebody and be cool or put uh, the QR code up, which I'll, I'll put up again in, in a little bit, my link tree, I do that all the time. It's a great way, you know, when you're virtually networking, boom, you, get, you have the digital business card. It will have a downloadable CSV or a downloadable card so that you can go there, the person can go there, hit save, and then it saves it to their phone. I don't know why we're still using these paper business cards that they freaking they keep putting a stack of all my business cards. Okay. I never look at them again, unless we have a substantial conversation. I have to save it. Then I have to look at your card and then punch it into my phone. It's, I don't like some of the apps that do it. Okay. But then you could even, uh, we have in here the business card. You could also link to like an off, uh, an unlisted, uh, video. Be like, hey, thank you so much. It's great connecting with you. If I can help you with real estate in any way, please give me a call. This is Jeremiah J. Man Monero with the Monero team at XYZ Realty. Think about real estate. Think about the Monero team. We're your architects of the American dream. Bing. Make it a great day. Okay. Then you also have the home equity estimates, like I said, and the dream home flows. 
the dream home flows. So the dream home flow just says, tell me about your dream home. Um, would you like to know about properties 23 and a half hours before they come on the market? Uh, because with clear cooperation, I can advertise to people less than 24 hours, right? It has to be within 24 hours. I can, uh, buyers that I'm working with, I can say, hey, I'm listing this house. It's going to be on the market tomorrow morning at this time. 100% legal, okay? You just can't say, hey, I'm listing this house. Let me get you in and I'm not showing it to anybody else, okay? Just another way, would you like me to show you, especially in a, in a market where like inventory is way down, this is the way to talk to people and, in, and entice them, induce them to taking action, right? It has to be compelling enough. Uh, and then the last thing is like, look at, you will be seen as a tech expert that levels are far superior level of service than any of your competitors. Think of, it's all about um, setting yourself apart from the competition. Setting yourself apart from the competition. And if this doesn't do it, I don't know what would. You have to really light yourself on fire and run around. Ah! No, this is pretty cool. All right. Let me come back over here. I, I'm willing to field any questions. I feel like we got no, no questions. We got 10 people watching. You're just watching. Watch, learn, listen, ask questions. Okay. Um, this is what else I'll show you since you guys aren't being very talkative. We're going to shut down the stream pretty soon, but I'm going to come back over here and show you the what it looks like. This is the actual flow on, on the... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Now, I, I didn't say this will also work via SMS, right? If somebody comes in, they say, I don't do the Facebook. We can do SMS, okay? And coming soon, with like within the next two months now, is going to be Instagram and WhatsApp. Okay, so for those of you like New York City area, WhatsApp, or the larger metro areas, you have international um, clients that you're working with. They're very familiar with WhatsApp. This will integrate with it seamlessly. All right, so you can see here the triggers. Um, a trigger is what would set this off in the bot. So for here, it's a QR code and a URL, but that could be a keyword that's sent into your, into your uh, Facebook page. It could come in from another flow. Um, we have this as part of our total bot, uh, Sir bot a lot. It's part of the whole package. Uh, great question. Let's see what we have here. I didn't read it. I just said it was a great question because you asked a question. So let's see. Do the bot replies go to your text on phone or through the bot app? Well, Billy, thank you for tuning in. Oh, we got Mallory Elise Lockett from Chicago. Uh, the, they'll actually go through Messenger, right? So this is this is designed through ManyChat, but it goes through Messenger because it's the page side of your Messenger, okay? But it can also go through text message if that's what's preferred. Uh, ManyChat does have uh, its own virtual number, if you will, and you can text message from it. It costs you one penny per text message, which is much cheaper than uh, some other programs that you might find out there that could be anywhere from three to eight cents. It adds up if you're doing a lot, you're like one penny. All right, let me just show you this, right? So first question you see, hi, and first name, it automatically populates from their Facebook profile. Are you working with an agent? Click yes or no. It's kind of like when you were a kid and you wrote that note in school. Do you like me? Yes or no. Are you working with an agent? Yes or no. Boop, boop. If they say no, it continues and we tag them. They came in through the open house and they answered yes. If they say no, I'm sorry. Um, if they say no, then it, it tags them as a yes. And if they say yes and it comes in and says, thank you for visiting our open house, please put your agent and brokerage here. Your agent can contact us with feedback and any questions. And it ends. Have a great day, folks. Right? Because there's two people that come into your, your open house. You want to make sure you have prospects, you have suspects. <laughs> prospects are people you can actually work with. Suspects have agents or, or are wanted by the police. But um, if they have an agent, then your job is to sell them the house. If they don't have an agent, your job is to sell yourself, your company, your services, and everything you do that's different, like this freaking awesome open house bot. Okay? So then they come in here and say, what is your first and last name? Jeremiah Monero, what's your best email? Okay, and this is built in, so it conversationally just goes waiting for a reply from contact, right? So it's not going to go a barrage of message after message. What's your cell phone number? 
Okay. House hunting is fun, isn't it? I have a few questions for you. What did you like about the house? What did you not like about the house? Would you like to know if an offer comes in? And this is almost exactly like my feedback that I that I use through showing time. I think it's exactly the questions I ask. What'd you like? What you didn't like? Want to know if an offer comes in? Keep it simple. You don't have to like give them this SAT um, test. And then it's, see, we have a smart delay here. Wait one minute. But this could be wait 20 minutes. Wait whatever. It's smart so we can delay it however you like. So I would say typically I might do it 30 minutes to an hour. I want them to have left the open house. So you see here it says, would you like to know as new houses hit the market? Who doesn't? Okay, and again, it says the same thing up here. They say yes. If they say no, you say thank you for stopping by today. If they say yes, it then goes into another flow. Um, so here, I'll show you the other flow as we go in. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Sounds great. Let's set up a time to talk next week, please. Suspects. Well, Brittany, right? They could be a suspect. You don't want suspects in your in your open house. Uh, so the dream home flow, look at this goes right into a whole nother, look at this conversation for some of you that might give you a headache for me. And this is like a work of art. It's like a beautiful mind. Um, so tag is working seller, working with buyer agent. Then we ask questions. Where are you living now? When is your lease expiring? Great. Let us know how we can help you with your house hunting needs. I'm not going to go through all of these, but. Again, this will always come back here. It says, are you working with an exclusive buyer's agent? Because this flow is, is used in other parts of the bot. So if it wasn't asked before, we ask it again. It, it's so important. So important. Um, and again, this one says, okay, that is great. We're happy that you have exclusive representation. Please type your agent's name. Okay. If they're not, it comes right over here. Tell me about your dream home. I'm going to zoom in because you guys probably can't see how cool this is. Right. Tell me about your dream home. Sounds great. Are you pre-approved or will you be paying cash? Cash money, need a referral, pre-approved, have someone. Every one of these buttons that you press will lead somewhere else. Sweet. We have someone or two for you. And this is where you could just have a digital business card of people that you refer. I don't like it to be one. Have at least two or three so you're not steering in any one direction. And you say, look at, um, do you want them to call? Do you want to call them or should I have them contact you? Yo, this is butter, baby. This is so... Nice. Think about it. This is exactly how my conversation would go. Awesome. Glad you found a great lender. I'm always looking for new people to refer business to. Do you mind letting me know who you're working with? Again, you want to call their bluff because some people go, I'm pre-approved. Yes, I am. Okay. What bank are you working with and what's the person's name? And you hear this. <laughs> the crickets. You hear the crickets. I'm glad you found a great lender. I'm always looking for new people to refer business to. Boom. If they need the referral, again, that's going to link. That could link to your link tree or link to digital business cards, however you want that to happen. And see here, this is where the notification takes place. Notify admins, three people via messenger and email. Okay, or it could be, um, we got to change that, I can't do it via messenger, via text message and email. Okay. Because uh, Facebook Messenger is very strict about how you contact people. You can only talk to them if they give you permission or if they've come into your bot, uh, you have 24 hours to continue that conversation. After 24 hours, you can't talk to them unless they've authorized what's called a one-time notification, Okay, which you could say, and I think we have this in here, um, is it okay if I follow up with you in, you know, in a couple weeks to see how your home search is going? Yeah, sure. All right, great. And then that gives you permission to contact them in a couple weeks. All right. Let me see what else. Um, what's the last thing I want to show you? Do, 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 do. Um, there's questions in here about the market. Would you like to know about the market? Would you like to know when properties come on the market? Um, again, that's, that's all designed so that we get that information. We don't have to talk to them. They don't have to talk to us, but I can hop on RPR. I can do a market activity report. Or I can add people to a database so that when I have new listings, I can follow up with them. Just a compelling reason, uh, if they're not represented, to pick them up as a buyer. Okay, and then this last flow I'm going to show you. 
This is the money flow for you to go. Okay, this is home equity questions. Da, da, da. Now, I call it a home equity estimate. And I'm going to trademark that because I feel like I'm the first one who ever said that. Uh, feel free to use it if you purchase the open house spot. Some of you say comparative market analysis. And it's like, it's so much, so much real estate jargon. I know what home equity is as a homeowner, right? Would you like a home equity estimate? What's that? How much are you going to make when you sell your house? Oh, yeah. Yes, I would. Okay, but have you ever had one done? Click yes or no. Yes, no, or what's that? Okay, yes. Would you like to get a current one? All you have to do is answer a few questions. All of these are going to go to the same place. No. Okay, great. Would you like to answer a few questions? What's that? They come down here. They say, what's that? Again, I'm going to zoom this a little bit better so you can see it. Would you like to get one today? All you have to answer is a few questions. They say, what's that? It's an estimate how much you might walk away with if you decided to sell in today's market. Would you like to get one today? All you have to do is answer a few questions. All answers lead to the home equity estimate. All roads, all roads. Comes over here, what is your address? Street number, street name. Okay, what is your zip code? How much do you own your current mortgage? Do you have any credit lines or liens you wanna pay off on the property? And let me zoom this so you can see it better. Do you have any credit lines or liens that pay off on the property? Please list all improvements you have made to the property since you've been there and allows them just to fill in the blanks. Okay, great. I got the details. That'll auto fill what they've answered. I know it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet, my friends. Uh, da, 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 da. And then at the end, Boom, it says, thank you for all the deets. And look at this is, the conversation here is designed the way I talk. If you don't like it, tough luck. No, you can always change it. Um, we will compile your report and have it to you within 24 hours via email. Okay, we promise there's no obligation estimate of what your home might be worth. Is this the best email? It'll auto-populate the email from their Facebook account, which usually is like a spam email that nobody checks. So we wanna be sure because we're offering them something of value, okay? Would you also like to know what the market's like? Who doesn't market report? So then goes into questions. What do you want to know about the market? All right. Come back over here. This is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero. Any other questions about how to host a kick-ass open house? Because I feel like I give you a lot of tips and tricks. Uh, you know, look at. You can go there. You can see this is an introductory price. It will self-destruct. Uh, in 21 days after you visit the site. 21 days we're offering this open house spot. Uh, I'll be some of the first ones to use it. We're probably going to triple the price after that because I feel like it's so valuable. And it's really so awesome. So I don't see any other questions. Let's see what we got. Nope, nope, nope. All right, folks. Well, this is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero, J-Man Speaks. We thank you for tuning in to Ask the Experts Anything Meaningful, also known as A-Team Friday. It's Jeremiah's J-Man Monero. Make it a great day.